Hello friends, welcome back to Red Lotus Yoga, Gentle Hatha with Tara, that's me. Uh, my cat Chloe's with us this time, so yes, there she is. She doesn't like it when I close her out of the yoga room, she meows at the door and I figured it'd be better to have her in here with us than listen to her yowl. So my day job is uh, working at a middle school as a special ed coordinator and needless to say, this video is happening right now as we are all working on distance learning from home. And one of my colleagues sent me a message and said, my neck is killing me, what can you do for me? So this is going to be a very short session on just working on some release for your neck. Now do think about your anatomy. Your neck is the beginning of your spine, and you know I've already talked about you about your spine to you and how we have to work on keeping it flexible. So we're going to do some movements that will help all the way down our spine to stretch out and relieve some of that tension that we might be carrying. And of course, anybody who works at a desk job um, is going to find this helpful, I hope. So take a comfortable seated position. So when we're seated, we want to pull out that extra fat that we have at our butts so that we're resting on our sits bone. You should actually feel your sits bone resting on your mat. Comfortable seated position, whatever you want to do. Hands can be on your knees, they can be down at your sides, they can be folded, wherever they're comfortable for you. Yogi's choice right now. So we are still going to move with our breath. So actually, let's put our hands down on the floor at our sides and do just a couple of warm-up breaths, remembering that as we inhale and lift our arms, we want to extend our spine as well. So inhale, extend that spine, take your chin and gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, turning the palms out, bringing them back to the floor. Your spine is back in neutral. Inhale up. Raising that gaze and chin to the ceiling, the sky, opening up. Exhale, turning your palms out as you lower your arms. One more time, inhaling up, chin and gaze to the sky, exhaling down. Hands anywhere you want. Your gaze is straight in front of you. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale through your mouth. Dragon breath. Let's out some of that tension. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, let your chin come down to your chest. And on your next inhale, let your chin go all the way up to the sky. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, chin to the sky. Eyes open or shut, the choice is yours. Exhale, chin to chest, and this time we're gonna hold it. We're gonna hold our asana, but not our breath. So make sure that you're still breathing. And on your next inhale, take that chin up, lift it towards the sky, and again, we're going to hold. Not our breath, you're still breathing. On your next inhale, take that chin back down to the chest, we're going to hold the asana, and Focus on the back of your neck and the beginning of the trail down your spine. And what do you feel as you breathe? And on your next inhale, take that chin up towards the sky, holding here with that same awareness. What do you feel? What sensations do you feel? How are they different from chin down? And you're breathing. And on your next inhale, take that chin back to neutral so your gaze is straight ahead of you. 
nice deep inhale and as you exhale let one ear reach towards that same shoulder I don't think your ear is going to hit your shoulder that's just the direction that it's moving inhale up exhale to the other side inhale up exhale back to the original side now we're gonna hold here and you can take your hand and put it on top of your head you're not trying to pull your head down towards that shoulder, that ear towards that shoulder. You're just letting the weight of your hand give you a little bit more reach. And inhale up and exhale back to the other side. And again, you can put your hand there. Just hold it while you breathe. And inhale up. Nice deep inhale. Exhale out your mouth. Think about your shoulders. What are they doing right now? I don't need my shoulders up. They're nice and relaxed. Inhale your shoulders up and roll them back and down. Inhale your shoulders up and roll them back and down. One more time. Back. Inhale. Roll them back down. Now we're going to switch directions. Inhale those shoulders up and roll them forward and down. Inhale up, forward and down. Inhale up, forward and down. If you know that you carry a lot of your stress in your shoulder, throughout the day, just remind yourself, oh yeah, shoulders down. If you're walking around like this, you want to give yourself that cue. Nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, chin comes to chest. And as you inhale, you're going to keep your chin on your collarbone and move your chin towards one shoulder. Exhale back to center. Inhale to the opposite shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the opposite shoulder. And we're going to hold here. From here, you might want to take your gaze up just a wee little bit. On your next exhale, bring that chin back to shoulder all the way through to the other side. Shoulders are relaxed. Jaw is relaxed. You might take that gaze up a little bit. On your next exhale, back down to center. Inhale, bring your chin back up to neutral. Your gaze is straight ahead. We're going to do some neck rolls. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, let your chin fall to one side. And start to roll your neck. Full circles. I guess you're not rolling your neck, you're rolling your head. And try to do an inhale for half of the circle and an exhale for the other half. So you might inhale as you roll your head back and exhale as you complete the bottom of that circle. Or you might exhale as you're rolling back and inhale at the bottom of the circle. Keep making these circles Shoulders are down, jaw is relaxed, moving with your breath, and now go the opposite direction. And just notice what sound you might hear, how each side might differ or be similar. Moving with your breath. Going at your own pace, nice and slow. And when you're ready, inhale back to center. 
So remember what I say is that your yoga is going to be different than mine. Our circles might go at different speeds, and that's okay. And you might get tired of sitting in the same position and decide that you need to change your positions. So we're going to do cat-cow, bitalasana, margiasana, which normally we do on our hands and knees. But when we're sitting for a long time at a desk or in front of a computer, it's nice to just take this quick break and do it seated. So arms come up. Inhale, arms back, chin to the ceiling, chest out. You're getting a little bit of a back bend here. And then moving with your breath, reverse that. Arms come forward, chin comes to the chest, and your back is curving. This would be the angry cat if we were on our hands and knees. Moving with your breath, arms back. Chin up to the sky, heart, chest moving forward. Moving with your breath, reversing. Three more times following your own breath pace. And inhale your hands back down to your knees your gaze forward. So that is a really quick sequence that you can do multiple times during the day that will help work out that tension. And again, remind yourself during the day, if you hold your tension in your shoulders, shoulders down. If you hold your tension in your jaw, relax your jaw. Think about what's going on in your body. Try not to slouch too much. Try to keep that spine nice and straight and neutral. You're working on those muscles, helping hold it up. And I hope that this lets you keep working at those computers, teaching our kids long distance via computer, Monica. Thank you for asking. And if anybody else has a request, feel free to send it to me.